looking into the Empire State now, New York's legal marijuana rollout has faced tough criticism over the years, from complaints that licenses weren't being given out quickly enough to illegal stores popping up within the Empire State. ABC 22's Jamie DeLine lets us know about a new report highlighting both the positives and negatives here. Well, I think we were all in agreement that there was a bumpy start. Um, there are certainly some successful outcomes that we can see in this report that gives us confidence that the legal adult use recreational cannabis marketplace will be a success in New York State. A new 102 page report issued by the Office of Cannabis Management highlights progress being made. We've given out 1,342 licenses have been issued. We have over 200 dispensaries opened. We have generated $653 million in sales revenue to date. According to OCM, 67% of New Yorkers who consume cannabis over the past year reported purchasing it from a legal retail dispensary. And when it comes to cracking down on illegal stores? Statewide, we've closed over 1,000 stores, um, padlocked our enforcement team the last three months has been out working with local municipalities and law enforcement agencies to really curb the illicit market. The report also lists recommendations such as supporting municipal law enforcement and establishing a cannabis specific recycling program to reduce packaging waste. Senator Jeremy Cooney tells me what he would like to see OCM accomplish in the years to come. For me, success means more licenses opened out the door, more retail dispensaries available to compete with the illicit market and making sure cannabis consumers feel safe uh, when they purchase one of these legal products across New York State. In Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine.